Hello, Zero K fans. This is Shadow Fury 3 with another exhibition match stream for you guys. Today we're going to be starting. Well, actually, we're going to be primarily doing a few games that I noticed that Snugglebase and Rymark played. It looks like it was a best of three, as far as I can tell. It's just a little exhibition. Well, I don't shouldn't call it exhibition in their case. It's in this case, yes, it's not a tournament match, but it seems like just they did a first to two set, as far as I can tell. Maybe not. I don't know what the win rate is. It might have been first to three. Anyway, so we're going to have that, so about three matches of them, and if there's still time, there's another match I have lined up, but I don't know if there will be. Anyway, just get that started in now, just about, so let's go over the map first. Sands of War is a C map. Sorry, but I wanted to see how it was played out. Since Rymark has been doing a lot of work on C balance, I would kind of want to see what they're doing right now, like how they're playing things, and let's go over the map briefly before, though. So this map, as you can see, focused on the southwest and center east. Resources around the side. Usually players, like the south side will go over to this island and east side will try to take the north. This south northwest island typically gets fairly contested, but usually what you end up seeing is players just going through the lane in between them, trying to jockey for position along there. That's usually what you see the most of. So expansions beyond that, once people get expansions, it's usually like here... This plus three here. Sometimes it's plus three down here. That's what people go for. And since we're not seeing any shipyards, we're going to see Amphib versus Hovercraft. Should be interesting that way, how that plays out. Anyway, get that started. So, Snuggle Base, yes, like I said, going for Amphib, while Rymark is going for Hovercraft. Rymark's also... Well, both players are starting out fairly similarly with... Early Raiders, early Mexes. Rymark getting three. Yeah, three daggers up first. Two, just one scouting duck for Snuggle Base. So Snuggle Base is not really planning on doing too much in the way of raiding, just attacking with that one duck. Oh, wow, that is kind of hard to see. I'm sorry. I'll switch water types. I oh, that's even worse. Ew. That looks terrible. Okay, well, I'll just do this one. No, this map just looks terrible. I'm sorry. Oh, right. You can't switch to bump map anymore. Okay, so it seems to be an engine bug. I can't seem to switch to two bumped maps, so I'll just have to do that at the end of the game so the next one's okay. So anyway, Rymark in a pretty okay position. I mean, they can defend pretty well. Their main base is actually no their main base is hardly full of anything they have a claymore coming in that's not going to help too much and their daggers did not do really anything dealt a bit of damage that was about it while snuggle base coming in with that duck and nothing to stop it the commander is going to do some damage it probably will stop it actually but still both players they scattered each other out didn't deal any damage neither player really managed to do much of anything so given that it's really not all that relevant However, Rymark has now switched over to Claymore, which we don't see very often. Very few people actually build Claymores. It's a good unit, just not really often used. I think probably because it's also kind of wonky, it has a tendency to blow itself up before destroying any of its enemies. But let's see what happens. Well, it is an anti-sub hovercraft. Did work in that respect, but it is still targetable by torpedoes, so the ducks can and will hit it. If they can get in range. And actually, they have. They have hit it a few times. More daggers coming in for Rymark. So Rymark going really against Snuggle Base's exact strategy. Because the daggers, while they can hit the ducks, it's not super efficient given the ducks' torpedoes. I mean, it will work with, as you can see, four daggers is enough. But the Claymore is far more efficient. How many kills has this Claymore even had? I can't really tell. No veterancy. So fewer than four kills. Oh man, the stupid zoom speed. I'm sorry about the zooming. I There is, like, the fix I've been using sort of helps, but the thing is the zoom speed is still unpredictable, and I don't know why. Exponent has some ideas, but I haven't had a chance to solve it yet. Anyway, that technical issues aside. So yeah, Rymark is doing okay when it comes to this. Hmm, no, that's with shift, so I have no idea. 
But yeah, Rymark is doing okay when it comes to this, but it's really kind of... I'm sorry, I'm getting distracted by the camera. It's really kind of difficult for Snugglebase to get in at this point. Snugglebase has been pretty heavily countered, continuing to go for ducks, which I don't really agree with. Scallops would make a bit more sense, being that they'd be able to hit the daggers at greater range, and once they got on the ground, they would have their shotguns, that'd be great. But no, the continued use of ducks, I don't understand. I mean, it looks like they're about to take out the Claymore, but at the same time, are they really going to? That Claymore might be okay? I don't know, it's hard to say. Now it looks like it probably will... Yeah, it's looking like it's gonna get surrounded. Did just get- okay, now it's dead. There's the last couple torpedoes, that'll finish it off. But it had a good run. Managed to get rid of quite a few ducks in the process, and now there's a critical mass of daggers to get rid of all of those ducks. That shouldn't be as big of a problem, however, the daggers get- wow! One urchin taking out all those daggers, that was a huge blow. That was very surprising. Not sure how exactly that happened, but yeah, that was pretty big. So overall at this point, Snuggle Base has the Northeast. Rymark has two of the islands, actually, at this point. The, the Northwest Island not as well defended, but still, they've taken quite a bit more in the way of economy. Though Snuggle Base, at the moment, has a greater economy. Rymark hasn't capitalized on everything that they have, so we'll see how that works out. Snuggle Base has gone for scallops. They have... Why is that happening with the camera? Sorry, it's zooming and then it's recorrecting the angle when I tilt when I pan, and it should already be the correct angle when I zoom. I gotta double check I'm using the right camera here. Anyway. So Rymark is Well Going along the same strategy. I mean it was working okay with the claymores and daggers, but I think at this point there are probably enough ducks that that claymore is gonna have a really hard time getting through. And these daggers, trying to get through the urchins is also a problem. Rymark, they're going to have to break through... How many urchins are there, anyway? Oh, it's just over here. Okay, it's not as big of a deal as I thought it was. But still, they're losing... That's the second claim where they've lost. That dealt nowhere near as much damage as the first. The critical mass of ducks has been built up, and honestly, at this point, it's... Yeah, it, I don't know how it's going to be done, really, for Rymark. I think Rymark is probably going to switch over to Halberds. Or switch over to, like, Halberds and then just attack the main base area directly. Or switch over to, I guess... I sub... No, it wouldn't work. I was thinking Scalpels might work, but Scalpels I don't think I hit underwater, so that's a problem. This is really wonky. The Hover versus Amphib interaction. Let's see, it's... Oh. What? Okay, so apparently Rymark... Their balance plan was daggers should three-shot, not four-shot ducks, which is interesting. So apparently something had been implemented wrong, because there was a fix to all the damage that the damage actually comes out as it says, and... Well... No, it's actually four-shot. The max HP of the duck is 340, not 330. But yeah, like I said, there was a switch over to make sure that all the damages were actually what they said they were, rather than being slightly different because of engine bugs. And that was one of them, actually. I'm pretty sure it was. Or, I'm sure every- well, all of them, but apparently that was one of them because if- If it was three-shotting before, now it's four-shotting, it's probably that the numbers meant it was four-shotting, but for whatever reason the numbers were wrong and it was actually three-shotting. So they're correct in the wrong direction from the sounds of it. So Rymark- Rymark's the one who is in charge, as far as I know, of C balance or C rebalance, so they'd probably know. And if they're being troubled by something not working, it's probably a sign that it's not working. Anyway, now we're seeing how the scallops work out here, which is going to be probably pretty powerful. In fact, the daggers have more of a chance on the water, but even then, it's going to be problematic. However, Amphib is just generally hard to play as underwater. Like, when you're in the water, it's tricky, but honestly, Rymar can't seem to get enough forces, and all the urchins are just locking the entire area down. There's no easy way for Rymar to get around. Like, Snuggle Base just has the entire area locked down, that's it. This... I mean, the claimers are doing a pretty good job, but once the scalpels get onto, or scallops get onto land, the daggers can't do anything. Scallop poles would be a good counter to the scallops, but they can't hit them underwater. I mean, there's some interaction, but it's pretty minimal. Oh, oh except for, the, yeah, except for the amphib bunching up. The amphibs bunching up will mean the claymores do a huge amount of damage. That is the one exception to the case. As we can see, that was indeed a huge amount of damage. But even with that, it looks like 
Snuggle Base coming in with the defenders along the side of the island just to tear everything apart because why not? That Northwest Island is going to soon belong to Snuggle Base, and I think at that point Snuggle Base is maybe going to be able to break through, but at the same time, all these claimers coming in. And there's the halberds. That's what I was looking for. Finally, we see halberds. Been waiting for those for a little while now. And now we have them. Because halberds are extremely useful. I can't underestimate how useful they are. I mean, overestimate how useful they are. <laughs> they're, they're more useful than a lot of people seem to think. But yeah, it's they're very useful because their ability to break defenses like that, it's key for the Hovercraft Factory. Unless you get penetrators up, and penetrators are so expensive that it's often not worth it. And that Claymore survives. Needs to be repaired, though. Is there any set of workers here to repair? And no, with all these quills right here, not repairing that Claymore. That would be a really good thing to do right about now, but unfortunately, they are not. And also, Snuggle Base taking more and more of the map. That Northwest Island is Snuggle Bases now. Rommer going to make one last ditch effort to correct that, but it looks like that is not going to work. I don't think it's going to help. No, no, that's not. Like, there's a Stardust being built up. That's probably... Oh, actually, not even being built up. Well, at this point, it's, it's down to Snuggle Base's commander. Can those daggers kill the commander? I don't know. I think... Maybe? Can they? And they're after it. They're... Maybe going to be able to kill it? Well, the Halberd's coming in. That halberd... Okay, never mind. That won't work. But that halberd... Those halberds coming in against the commander. That is going to be... Pretty threatening. Oh, looks like one more shot. Down goes the commander right at the end. Snuggle Base loses their commander. Admittedly, they're so far ahead. I mean, when I said that, they were actually quite a bit further ahead than I thought. It looked like they were about even, so it was going to make a difference. But no, they are very much further ahead. And that means... Well, they can support the sea factory they just built. Well, not just, but they support the sea factory they built. And it also means that it's basically curtains for Rymark. <laughs> yeah, Orphelia's pointing out, they could have just jumped into the water, because at that point, the, the point they were at is actually fairly... Where is it? Oh, you can't see. Never mind, sorry. The water color doesn't mean you can see the train. But yeah, the train under it, at that point, the commander was actually above water, even though they were in the water. So yeah, they would have needed to jump again. But unfortunately for them, they did not. And that was indeed a mobility commander. Well, a recon commander. As it was previously called. But at this point, Rymark, they're even economically to Snuggle Base. I mean, Snuggle Base has a lot of reclaim they could probably take advantage of. They have a lot of reclaim I'm sure they were taking advantage of. And they still have more terrain. More of a territory at this point. The Southeast being threatened pretty heavily by Snuggle Base at this point, but at this, but Rymark is a much better defended position than they did in the Northwest. And what the heck? Why is that? Okay, that's a weird bug. <laughs> that weird that Claymore Death Charge is just flying around. Okay, there it goes finally. What the heck just happened there? Anyway, as I was saying, before getting utterly distracted by the bizarre bouncing projectile. Rymark, this is their one angle. They can get through here. As you can see, the way the defenses are laid out right now, they can get... They can get under this area here, into the main base, and they're doing exactly that. They have the critical mass to get rid of any single ducks that get to them. And they should be able to take this out. The Crusaders are going to be a threat, but the Amphib Factory is still the main source of units for Snuggle Base. And down goes... Okay, on one of the caretakers are about to go down. There we go. One of the caretakers is down. Second caretaker down. Third caretaker down. Conch is down, and the factory is... Probably not going to go down. I wouldn't target the factory if I were Rymark. I would continue along, as it was exactly what they're doing, taking out the tidal plants, taking out possibly the sea factory if it's available, but the Crusader actually shouldn't be that big of a problem. So, yeah, this is pretty good. Pretty much free shots. At the center of the map, however, we do see Crusaders and Daggers fighting it out, but the Urchins make it a win for the Crusaders. Crusaders not really doing much in that regard, but the defenses definitely help. And... This is very good harassment. Bearing in mind, all tidal plants have 1.2 energy. They are always more powerful than solar plants, but they're also more vulnerable. But unlike wind generators, they don't have to be concerned about the actual wind. As in this particular case, the wind is terrible. Unfortunately for these daggers, this is their last shot, as a bunch of ducks will be coming in to tear them apart, and that is going to be it for the daggers, I think. Yep, there it is. Daggers are done. Good harassment, though. Rymark and Snuggle Base are fairly even economic, or fairly even militarily. Snuggle Base is way behind energy-wise now. 
Not that it's going to be the biggest deal. I don't think they were doing a whole lot of repair work. I didn't see them doing a whole lot of repair work, so it's not going to be that big of a deal, but it is going to be a problem if they start reclaiming. So at this point, Rymark is going to have a hard time reclaiming... Sorry, Snuggle Base is going to have a hard time reclaiming and making use of it. However, they aren't really looking to reclaim at this point. They're looking to try to just claim directly. Trying to take out the south and actually doing a pretty good job of it. Better th job than I thought they would. Although if these halberds come around, they should be able to tear apart the crusaders with little issue. At this point, the center is getting less and less under the control of Snuggle Base. Those defenses, while they were useful, don't matter so much. And Rymark, however, too pressured, cannot stand to keep going with this. So Rymark loses that match. On the sea at that, Orphelius was pointing out... Yeah, Orphelius was also thinking that Rymark would win a couple times. But no, Rymark actually losing due to pressure. So that is a game. I'll have another game for you guys in just a moment. It'll be another Snuggle Base and Rymark game, but this time it will be